Question number 701. Question. Which Canadian was pivotal in the development of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948? Option A. Lester B. Pearson. Option B. John Peters Humphrey. Option C. Louis St. Laurent. Option D. Brian Mulroney. The answer is Option B. John Peters Humphrey. Question number 702. Question. Canada is part of which group of leading industrialized country? Option A. G8. Option B. G7. Option C. G20. Option D. D8. The answer is Option A. G8. Question number 703. Question. A bill requires which of the following to become a law? Option A. Be given royal assent. Option B. Be passed by the Senate. Option C. Be passed by the House of Commons. Option D. All of these. The answer is Option D. All of these. Question number 704. Question. The significant environmental feature known as the Canadian Shield is Option A. A historic landmark in Ottawa. Option B. A military base. Option C. A vast area of ancient rock that covers half of Canada. Option D. A national park. The answer is Option C. A vast area of ancient rock that covers half of Canada. Question number 705. Question. Which Canadian province was the last to grant women the vote? Option A. Quebec. Option B. Ontario. Option C. British Columbia. Option D. Alberta. The answer is Option A. Quebec. Question number 706. Question. The policy that led to the establishment of French and English as Canada's two official languages was enacted under the government of Option A. Lester B. Pearson. Option B. Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Option C. John Diefenbaker. Option D. Louis Saint Laurent. The answer is Option B. Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Question number 707. Question. Which act, passed in 1982, significantly shaped the landscape of Aboriginal rights in Canada? Option A. The Indian Act. Option B. The Constitution Act. Option C. The Aboriginal Rights and Freedoms Act. Option D. The Native Land Claim Act. The answer is Option B. The Constitution Act. Question number 708. Question. The peace arch, inscribed with the words, children of a common mother symbolizes, option A, common past, option B, good neighbors, option C, close tie and common interest, option D, British Empire. The answer is option C, close tie and common interest. Question number 709. Question. Who appoints the lieutenant governors in provinces or territories? Option A. The sovereign on the advice of the governor general. Option B. The prime minister on the advice of the governor general. Option C. The House of Commons. Option D. The governor general on the advice of the prime minister. The answer is option D. The governor general on the advice of the prime minister. Question number 710. Question. The historic site of Fort Louisbourg, a key location during the French and Indian War, is situated in which Canadian province? Option A. Nova Scotia. Option B. Quebec. Option C. Ontario. Option D. Newfoundland and Labrador. The answer is option A. Nova Scotia. Question number 711. Question. The term Canadian mosaic refers to Option A. The geographical diversity of Canada Option B. Canada's policy of multiculturalism Option C. A historical artifact found in Ontario Option D. A style of Canadian painting 
The answer is option B, Canada's policy of multiculturalism. Question number 712. Question. The economic strategy primarily associated with the development of Western Canada was Option A. The National Policy Option B. The New Deal Option C. The Fair Deal Option D. The Western Accord The answer is Option A. The National Policy Question number 713. Question. The largest port in Canada is in which province? Option A. Yukon Territory. Option B. British Columbia. Option C. Newfoundland and Labrador. Option D. Nova Scotia. The answer is option B. British Columbia. Question number 714. Question. Which province is the house of highest tides in the world? Option A. Prince Edward Island. Option B. Nova Scotia. Option C. British Columbia. Option D. Newfoundland and Labrador. The answer is option B. Nova Scotia. Question number 715. Question. Who has the right to vote in Canadian federal elections? Option A. Canadian citizens aged 21 and over. Option B. Canadian residents. Option C. Canadian citizens aged 18 and over. Option D. All people living in Canada. The answer is option C. Canadian citizens aged 18 and over. Question number 716. Question. The famous Canadian figure, Sir Frederick Banting, is best known for Option A. His role in World War II. Option B. Co-discovering insulin. Option C. Founding the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. Option D. Writing the National Anthem. The answer is Option B. Co-discovering insulin. Question number 717. Question. Resolving disputes or confrontations is the main purpose of Option A. The courts. Option B. The police. Option C. The municipalities. Option D. The Service Canada. The answer is Option A. The courts. Question number 718. Question. In which Canadian city is the nation's capital located? Option A. Toronto. Option B. Montreal. Option C. Ottawa. Option D. Vancouver. The answer is option C, Ottawa. Question number 719. Question. The act that established Canada as a confederation in 1867 is known as option A, the British North America Act, option B, the Constitution Act, option C, the Confederation Act, option D, the Canada Act. The answer is option A. The British North America Act. Question number 720. Question. The historic figure Louis Riel is best known for his role in Option A. The Confederation of Canada. Option B. The founding of Manitoba. Option C. Advocating for French language rights. Option D. Leading the Northwest Rebellion. The answer is Option B. The founding of Manitoba. Question number 721. Question. What annual event celebrates Canadian literature and awards authors for their contributions to fiction? Option A. The Governor General's Literary Awards. Option B. The Giller Prize. Option C. The Booker Prize. Option D. The Canadian Screen Awards. The answer is Option A. The Governor General's Literary Awards. Question number 722. Question. In what year did Canada enact the Canadian Multiculturalism Act, promoting the preservation of diverse cultures within the country? Option A. 1988. Option B. 1982. Option C. 1991. Option D. 2001. 
The answer is option A, 1988. Question number 723. Question. In which year did Canada gain its flag with the iconic red maple leaf? Option A, 1965. Option B, 1980. Option C, 1973. Option D, 1957. The answer is option A, 1965. Question number 724. Question. Canada's commitment to reducing greenhouse gas emissions was formalized through its participation in Option A. The Kyoto Protocol Option B. The Paris Agreement Option C. The Montreal Protocol Option D. The Copenhagen Accord The answer is Option A. The Kyoto Protocol Question number 725 Question who is remembered as the leader of the famous Underground Railroad to Canada? Option A. Harriet Tubman. Option B. Martin Luther King Jr. Option C. Malcolm X. Option D. Frederick Douglass. The answer is Option A. Harriet Tubman. Question number 726. Question. What is the significance of the year 1867 in Canada? Option A. The year Canada became independent. Option B. The year of the first Canadian Prime Minister. Option C. The year the Constitution Act was passed. Option D. The year Canada hosted the Olympics. The answer is Option C. The year the Constitution Act was passed. Question number 727. Question. The October crisis of 1970 is remembered for Option A. A significant stock market crash in Canada Option B. The invocation of the War Measures Act Option C. The signing of a major trade agreement Option D. A large public demonstration in Ottawa The answer is Option B. The invocation of the War Measures Act Question number 728 Question. The first representative assembly was elected in Option A. Upper Canada Option B. Lower Canada Option C. New Brunswick Option D. Nova Scotia The answer is Option D. Nova Scotia Question number 729 Question. Geographically, Canada is split into how many distinct regions? Option A. 3. Option B. 10. Option C. 5. Option D. 13. The answer is Option C. 5. Question number 730. Question. Canada's first national park, established in 1885, is Option A. Jasper National Park. Option B. Banff National Park. Option C. Grow Morne National Park. Option D. Algonquin Provincial Park. The answer is Option B. Banff National Park. Question number 731. Question. In Canada, if you vote on Election Day, how can you vote? Option A. On the Internet. Option B. From your workplace. Option C. After the election. Option D in advance polls on special ballot. The answer is option D, in advance polls on special ballot. Question number 732. Question. The right to challenge unlawful detention by the state is known as option A, the right to public assembly, option B, the right to bear arms, option C, habeas corpus, option D, the right to vote. The answer is option C, habeas corpus. Question number 733. Question. Which river of Northwest Territories is the second longest river system of North America? Option A, Matagami River. Option B, Mississauga River. Option C, Mississippi River. Option D, Mackenzie River. The answer is option D. 
Mackenzie River. Question number 734. Question. Canada's policy on bilingualism ensures which languages are recognized as official. Option A. English and Spanish. Option B. English and French. Option C. French and German. Option D. English and Mandarin. The answer is option B. English and French. Question number 735. Question. In what year did the landmark Supreme Court decision recognize the legality of same-sex marriage across Canada? Option A. 2003. Option B. 2005. Option C. 2004. Option D. 2006. The answer is option B. 2005. Question number 736. Question. The Significant Act of Environmental Preservation, the Greenbelt Act, was enacted by Canada in Option A, 2005, Option B, 2010, Option C, 2000, Option D, 2015. The answer is Option A, 2005. Question number 737. Question. Which Canadian innovation is credited with significantly advancing telecommunications technology worldwide? Option A. The telephone. Option B. The Canadarm. Option C. The Blackberry smartphone. Option D. The snowmobile. The answer is option C. The Blackberry smartphone. Question number 738. Question. The historical event known as the Last Spike symbolizes the completion of Option A. The Transcontinental Railway Option B. The Confederation Bridge Option C. The St. Lawrence Seaway Option D. The Canadian Pacific Railway The answer is Option D. The Canadian Pacific Railway Question number 739 Question the iconic Canadian Mountie uniform with the red surge is associated with which police force? Option A. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Option B. The Ontario Provincial Police. Option C. The Quebec Provincial Police. Option D. The Canadian Coast Guard. The answer is Option A. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Question number 740. Question. How many Canadians served in the First World War? Option A. 100,000. Option B. 200,000. Option C. 600,000. Option D. 1 million. The answer is option C. 600,000. Question number 741. Question. The economic activity primarily associated with the Prairie Provinces is Option A. Fishing. Option B. Technology. Option C. Agriculture. Option D. Forestry. The answer is Option C. Agriculture. Question number 742. Question. What historical agreement, signed in 1987, aimed at reducing acid rain, involves Canada and the United States? Option A. The Great Lakes Water Quality Agreement. Option B. The Air Quality Agreement. Option C. The Boundary Waters Treaty. Option D. The Acid Rain Treaty. The answer is Option D. The Acid Rain Treaty. Question number 743. Question. The term First Nations refers to Option A. All Indigenous Peoples of Canada. Option B specifically to Inuit peoples. Option C. Specifically to Metis peoples. Option D. Indigenous peoples except the Inuit and Metis. The answer is Option D. Indigenous peoples except the Inuit and Metis. Question number 744. Question. What is the name given to the first ten amendments of the Canadian Constitution? Option A. The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Option B. The Bill of Rights. Option C. 
the Proclamation Act. Option D, the Statute of Westminster. The answer is Option A, the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Question number 745. Question, who is responsible to protect the environment in Canada? Option A, national government. Option B, all citizens. Option C, provincial governments. Option D, Aboriginal people. The answer is option B, all citizens. Question number 746. Question. In the D-Day invasion of Western Europe on June 6, 1944, Canadian forces stormed and took which beach from the German army? Option A, Paris. Option B, Netherlands. Option C, Lisbon. Option D, Juneau. The answer is option D, Juno. Question number 747. Question. Canada played a key role in the international treaty to ban landmines, known as option A, the Ottawa Treaty, option B, the Toronto Accord, option C, the Montreal Protocol, option D, the Vancouver Agreement, the answer is option A, the Ottawa Treaty. Question number 748. Question. Who is responsible for running government departments? Option A, Senators. Option B, Lieutenant Governors. Option C, Cabinet Ministers. Option D, Members of Parliament. The answer is option C, Cabinet Ministers. Question number 749. Question. Canada's role in the creation of the United Nations Peacekeeping Force was under the leadership of which Prime Minister? Option A. Lester B. Pearson. Option B. Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Option C. John Diefenbaker. Option D. Louis St. Laurent. The answer is Option A. Lester B. Pearson. Question number 750. Question. Terry Fox's Marathon of Hope, which has inspired millions and raised significant funds for cancer research, took place in Option A, 1980, Option B, 1981, Option C, 1979, Option D, 1982. The answer is Option A, 1980.